Good day to everyone. My name is Diego Gutierrez Oribio, and I will present to you our work titled Advances in the Sliding Mode Control of Earthquakes via Boundary Tracking of Wave and Diffusion PDEs. This result is a joint effort of ECOL Central de Nantes and CICESE under the supervision of professors Yuri Rolov, Ioannis Stefano, and Frank Cleston. This paper was supported by the European Research Council as part of the project Coquake by Atlantic 2020 and by CONACIT. This presentation is organized as follows. We will present first what are the earthquakes, why it is important to try to avoid them, and the simplified model of an earthquake that we are going to control, which will be a coupling system between the wave and the fusion equations. Then we will show the design tracking controllers for show systems by separately, where simulations will demonstrate the reliability of the design controls. Finally, we will discuss the conclusions of our work. Earthquakes are dynamic instabilities that occur in the Earth's crust due to the fast slip of a fault, causing the abrupt release of stored energy. Earthquakes are natural disasters caused by the movement of the tectonic plates, and they have caused many tragedies throughout human history due to their destructive behavior. Nowadays, it is generally accepted that humans can also induce or trigger earthquakes. Examples of this exist in oil and gas production, geothermal energy, and CO2 sequestration. All this makes earthquake prevention an important research topic to prevent future disasters. The question is, can they be controlled? Recently, some advances in control and tracking of a single fault modeled by MIMO ODE systems have been done using linear control. Nevertheless, the PDEs could model better a single fault. The wave equation includes the wave propagation and the diffusion equation models the actuator dynamics of the pressure applied to a fault. Therefore, a simplified model of a 1D earthquake can be represented as a coupling connection of the wave and diffusion equations. The wave equation has the fault dynamics at one of the boundaries and describes the wave propagation until the other boundary condition, where an attached point is present. The diffusion equation represents the pressure evolution of a well-injecting fluid, where at one boundary the flux control input is applied and the pressure applied to the fault is applied at the other boundary. The states of the wave equation are u as displacement and ut as velocity. t is the time and x is the space variable, which can take values from 0 to d. This 1d wave equation has mixed boundary conditions. The first condition is a Neumann at x equal to 0, where the fault dynamics and the boundary control p0 from the diffusion equation are located. Here we have many fault parameters and the friction coefficient, which is a nonlinear function of the displacement and velocity of the fault. The second one is a Dirichlet condition at x equal to d, representing an attached point. For the case of the diffusion equation, the state P is the pressure and it has only Neumann boundary conditions. At x equal to 0, the flux is 0, and at x equal to d2, the flux control input q and the external perturbation bar c are located. The control objective in our work is to prevent the fast slip of an earthquake-like behavior by designing the control input q of the diffusion equation to perform a tracking over the displacement and velocity at the fault of the wave equation. The control design will be divided for this purpose, where the control input P0 will be designed to perform a tracking over the wave equation and the control input Q will be designed to perform a tracking over the diffusion equation. Let us start with the wave equation control design. The first step is to introduce an error variable, 
Not how such an error is consistent with our tracking problem when it takes value of zero and when the boundary condition at x equal to this. The error dynamics is then obtained where a new perturbation term appears on the web equation due to the reference signal. The design control consists of feedback linearization terms and a homogeneous algorithm inspired by Orlov et al. 2011. The brackets notation represents a signed power function depending on the value of a. Then, when a is equal to zero, we obtain a discontinuous control, which is the so-called twisting algorithm. On the other hand, when a is equal to one, we obtain a linear control. One important feature of such control is that it only requires feedback from the states at x equal to zero which reduces the amount of information needed to solve the tracking problem. The question is, how to select the control gains lambda 1 and lambda 2? We can answer this question by looking at the main result of this section. Assuming the control gains are represented as shown, the closed loop error system is globally intimately bounded in the cell of this norm. The gain design depends only on the homogeneous parameter A and the ultimate bound can be reduced by incrementing the control gains or by choosing a slow reference. The proof of the theorem and more details can be found in our previous work from the 20th European Control Conference. We will present now the simulations made over the considered fault model and the design control. The friction coefficient was selected as the slip weakening friction law. Such reference starts from zero displacement and reach a maximum displacement d max at a time t up. Notice that t up can be conveniently chosen to reduce the ultimate bound as discussed before. The wave equation was implemented in MATLAB using the finite differences approximation and a sampling time equal to one millisecond. Three different values of A were chosen to test the homogeneous controller. The gain lambda 2 was the same for the three cases and lambda 1 was designed according to the presented theorem. These two plots show the performed tracking at x equal to zero, where the fault is located. The three cases are able to reach the same displacement as the earthquake-like behavior, but three orders of magnitude slower dissipating the stored energy in a controlled manner. The variable of greater interest is the error variable, where the discontinuous case A equal to zero presents the highest precision results on the displacement, but the worst results on the velocity due to its high frequency nature. The pressure injected into the fault for the three cases is practically the same, and it is not affected by the chattering effect due to its small gains. It is important to mention that such control signals present acceptable magnitudes that can be followed by common actuators, such as commercial pumps, making the control theoretically feasible to implement. So far, we have obtained the necessary pressure at the fault to prevent an earthquake-like behavior. Now, we need to generate such pressure from the flux input of the well. We will start with the motion planning of the diffusion equation then. Following the work of Lagos et al. 2000, the reference profile and the nominal control can be obtained from the reference RP, as shown in the slide. Such an approach is successful if the reference and all its derivatives fulfill a bound condition. In order to robustify the open loop motion planning, a robust tracking control will be required. An error variable will be introduced as before, and it will be consistent again with our tracking problem and with the boundary condition at x equal to zero. The error dynamics is then obtained where the control input q tilde must stabilize the closed loops despite the external perturbation bar phi. The control was designed as a PI algorithm plus 
a discontinuous integral term. The PI terms will stabilize the system origin and the discontinuous term copes with the perturbation. As for the wave equation control, this algorithm only requires feedback from the boundary x equal to d2. We can show that the closed loop error system is globally exponentially stable, despite the presence of lead sheets with respect to the time disturbances, if the control gains are designed as shown. Due to the fact that the discontinuous term is inside of the integral part, the control signal generated is continuous, which can reduce the chattering effect. The proof of the theorem and more details can be found in our previous work from the 61st Conference on Decision and Control. We will present now the simulations made over the diffusion equation, where four kinds of references to be followed were selected depending on the simulation time. A linear reference, a constant reference, an exponential reference, and a sinusoidal reference. The diffusion equation was implemented in MATLAB using the final differences approximation and a sampling time equal to 50 milliseconds. The control was designed according to the presented theorem and the unbounded pod Lipschitz external disturbance. The tracking at the boundary of interest is obtained, showing how it could be possible to control the pressure applied to the fault by controlling the flux of the well. Furthermore, the norm of the error tends exponentially to zero, even with the change of references to be followed. The control signal generated is always continuous and can perform the tracking over the diffusion equation, suppressing the effect of the external perturbation. To conclude this presentation, we will discuss the obtained results. We obtain advances in preventing fast slip in a simplified earthquake model by designing a control for the wave and diffusion equations. In both cases, we perform a tracking over the PDE, presenting important features for every system. Furthermore, the design controllers only need information at the boundary, which minimize the needed measurements. The current work is focused on the extension for the perturbed case of the wave equation, a new motion planning for the uncertain diffusion equation, and the test of such controls for the coupling system, reaching a 3D earthquake model. By the date of this presentation, these results might have already been solved, so be sure to be keep an eye on archive. I would like to thank all of you for your attention and one of the authors will be at the conference answering all of your questions. We would like to invite you to check these and other interesting results in our official Cocoa site. Thank you.